Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay. ¿Qué tal su nieto? Pues ahí usted sigue, continúe en el hospital, pues eh, siempre esperando un milagro. Este día le hicieron otra cirugía en la mano, siempre en su manita, porque algo había quedado mal. Entonces, es que la unión de esos nervios tiene que ser crucial. Sí. Eso es importante. Y después a pura terapia, teacher. Le va a ser muy doloroso, pero lo puede lograr. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, algo, algo feo porque sí, no, era de, todo dependía de la, de la cirugía de hoy, pero no han informado todavía si se logró unir los tendones porque el dedo pequeño de él era el sí. que iba bien destruido. O sea, iban heridos todos los dedos, pero... El más pequeño sí era el que iba bien destruido y es el que corre peligro. Bueno, dicho el primero Dios. Primero sí. Dios, ahí vamos a estar. Sí, primero Dios se va a lograr todo, que todo tiene que salir sí. bien. Nuestra fe es lo principal. Sí. Mm. Cabal, teacher. Ya, yeah. ok. In only three minutes mm. to start the class. Ok. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Oof. How was your day? <laughs> um, very tired, very... Muy, muy agitado. ¿Cómo puedo decir muy agitado? Very tired is okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, demasiado, oh, teacher. Oh, it was, it was enough hard, hard. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very hard. Very hard. Now. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Byron. 
How was your weekend, Rufino? My my weekend was um, uh, very um, uh, splendid, very wonderful, and uh, wonderful, and nice, my amazing. Family, uh, yeah, with my family, uh, we went and um, garden park garden botanic botanic garden ah interesting in, in laguna i i, I was uh, i very very happy with my family it was nice and, uh, yes <laughs> okay excellent what about let me see marisol how was your weekend marisol it was great. I visited my parents in Chalatenango. Oh, in what else? What what other activities did you do on weekend? Also, I I was studying a lot because today I ha I had it. You had what? Uh, exam. Test or exam? Yes. Ah, okay. And how was it? Mm -hmm. I think that it was really difficult. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. And thanks for your participation. Now, what about Oscar Rosales? How was your weekend, Oscar? Oscar, how was your weekend? Um, Byron, how was your weekend, Byron? I'm sorry, hello. Hello. Um, I am staying in my house. Uh, all weekend. <laughs> on Sunday yeah. and, and Saturday and Sunday. No, on Sunday I am visiting my grandpa. Ah, okay. Did you visit yes. any place? No. No. Did you no. go to the church? No. No. Did you go to the park? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you play yes. soccer? <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, oh, and yes. then. Okay. I saw. Now, what about Elmer Mauricio? How was your weekend, Elmer? My teacher, because Hi. I went with my with my my daughter, and we we were uh, uh, playing uh, playing the violin oh. because my daughter is a uh, learn. The, the play, the instrument. No, excellent. It's in the Saturday. In the, Saturday. Mm -hmm. in the Sunday, we went to uh, visit my, my mother and I went uh, to the church. Oh, okay. On Sunday, you visited your mother and you went to the church. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Now, what about Maria Griselda? How was your weekend? Hi. Hi, Good Maria Griselda. Good evening, Good teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How was your weekend? Tell us. Well, on Saturday, uh, I went to roll a bicycle with my cousin oh. on the street. And after that, I visited my sister and I cook together. And on Sunday, I always uh, went to the church and I 
and I went to eat pupusas after that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, it was nice your weekend. What Thanks. about Iris? How was your weekend, Iris? My weekend is very good. I relax with my family in my house. Um, but is how do you say a uh, very hot? Um, hot. Mucha calor? Yes, hot or hotter. A hotter. Eh, mucha calor, entonces mejor estar dentro de la casa. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I prefer go to the go to the park because it's is 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 better to me. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. Go to the beach. Okay. Now what it's about better. go to the beach, teacher? Yes, it's better. Did you visit the beach on weekend? I work near uh, the beach. Oh, excellent. And what did you do on weekend? Fine, teacher. Fine. Um, hey. Now, right now, I, I am at work. Ah, okay. But on weekend, what did you do? Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was stayed in my house just all day. All day, teacher. Ah, okay. And then you 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 took a rest. Tomo un descanso. Excuse me. You took a rest. Yes, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. My free time. Okay, it was your free time. Yes. Okay, excellent. What about Isa? How was your weekend, Isa? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How was your weekend? Uh, well, I I went to work on Saturday and and the eight uh twelve o'clock and returned my house and I cleaning my house oh. and. and and then my family, uh, my mom, visit. How do you say? Uh, my mother came to visit me. My mother came came to my house. Ah, uh, my mother came to my house, and yeah. Yeah, I'm cooking for dinner, and 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 we cooked in the same, and, and we we and we cooked. Together. Together, yes. Yes. Ah, excellent. Now, what about Patricia Rodriguez? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? Um, my weekend is very hard because I clean my house, I cook it the dinner, I play with my son, I I buy the supermarket. I, go I bought a boat. I supermarket. bought to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you watch TV? Yes, I watch TV. Did you listen to music? Mm, no, teacher, listen no. to music, no. Ah, okay, excellent. Thanks for your participation. Okay. Now, what about, uh, can you please tell me what, what um, let me see, on Friday, can you tell me what Friday's class was about? ¿Cuál fue nuestra clase del viernes? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando el viernes? Did you remember? About what? About pass? What? Pass perfect, pass progressive, and yes. how to make a question, the negative four, etc. Excellent. Yes. 
Now, it is important to see a video that is called Cross-Cultural Experiences Travel World. And then, in this video, it is important to pay attention and write in your notebook some ideas like names, like activities, like how was the experience, the experience, yes, about names, uh, to reporters, and it is very important to have the ideas or to listen the ideas. In this, in this time, I put the video. Let me see. Lo ven, ven, lo ven, ven así como un mundito. Yes, yes teacher, teacher, we can see. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Now, me dicen si lo escuchan. Vamos a ver ahorita. Afraid of making a mistake. Lo escuchan. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Ok, now, let me see. Pay attention to the audio and take notes about names, about the names of the reporters, eh, about the name of the name of the newscaster. Okay. Now here we have Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila. And I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but uh, I moved to Rio when I was four. And I've lived here ever since. And two years ago, I went to Sweden and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek and they shake hands. So I went to kiss like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that. It was strange. This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. I 
Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez, and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico, and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman, and she was making me lunch one day, and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day, with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. Now, can you listen in again? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Please. Yes. Okay. Good teacher, please. Okay. Yes, I mean it. Okay, go. Well. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything, but when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that, but it's strange. This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, 
what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez, and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico, and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman, and she was making me lunch one day, and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day, with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. Did you like it? Yes. yes. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, it is very, it's very interesting. Great. It was great. Let me see. Okay. It was nice, right? Now, can you tell me what was the name of the video? Traveling world. Cross cultural experiences. Travel. Travel world. Now, I have some questions to you about the video. Let me see. Okay, the first one. Okay, we put some question. The first one is, have you ever traveled to a country? Rio de Janeiro. With, yes, with a complete, Completely different culture. This is your first question. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? Yes. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Who? Or oh, in what? which place? Can you yes. tell me? Yes, yes. Who uh, to who country? I a que a que país han viajado? Alguien que haya viajado a otra cultura, otro país. Me teacher. Who, who is me? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. Can you tell me, please, what country did you visit? <laughs> teacher, I visited uh, Spain. But there is, is no problem. Try it. Try it. Yeah. There is no problem. Try it. Yes. Uh, which place? The, which place? I I was in Madrid and Barcelona. 
because um, the similar language is different. <laughs> Totalmente. <laughs> because oh. they speak very fast and use another uh, accent. Another sound. And another sound, yes. And, and I don't understand <laughs> because I have had uh, experience when I traveled to Madrid, from Madrid to Barcelona. And I was in the train, uh, the subway, yeah. the train station. And I ask, um, where is the place, the train station? Because I was a take, I took a train to Barcelona and I understand nothing <laughs> because, maybe, because uh, he told me uh, the reference, the reference. I don't understand what is the representation, the representation. And he told me Renfre Station because mm. uh, they use the sound, the third, um, a lot of <laughs> the yeah. reflex, reflex. <laughs> for example. <laughs> Ah, okay. the, the language is, is very different. Aún is Spanish. Spain, Spanish. Okay, and then they they speak only English or some people speak Spanish? They uh, speak Spanish and Catalan. And, uh, uh, some because I don't understand nothing. Okay. Okay. It's Spanish. <laughs> okay, thanks for your participation. Now, who else have you ever traveled to a country with a completely Me, different teacher. culture? Can okay. I? I? Well, in my case, teacher, I live in, in, Chalat in Chalatenango. Yeah. And I'm of municipality. Oh, or Catao. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I went to Honduras in motorcycle because it's very, it's, it's very near, near, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we went uh, last year and the tradition are very dif different of El Salvador. For example, in food, they had another different food for example, baleadas, eh, pollo con tajada, I don't know, you know? Eh, well, eh, I think that the, the country is very beautiful because they had a lot of mountains, eh, beautiful views, and I think that the, the people are very difficult, different of El Salvador in appearance and different ways, eh, only that. Ah, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah. What what kind of food did you eat there? Yeah, in the break in the breakfast, I I uh, I eat I eat um, baleadas. For dinner, we we eat we eat um, pollo con tajada. Oh, it's like chicken with a. Uh, Plátano verde. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And are they delicious? Yeah, very delicious. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, thanks for your participation. You're now, welcome. Okay, now the tradition and custom may seem strange, expectations. Here I are different some in some occasions. Now. Have you ever had a, a, another cross-cultural experience? Who wants to participate? The question is, have you ever had a cross, 
a cross-cultural experience? This is our second, second question. Have you ever had a cross-cultural experience? Another? Another participation? Teacher, me. Okay, tell me. Uh, well, I have been in Guatemala. Yeah. Uh, the, the country, the people has a different culture about uh, to El Salvador because they they don't like give kiss when you share the people. Uh, yeah. They like a check your hands, only that. Ah, shake your hands. Okay. Yes. No kiss, kiss on the on on the cheek. No. Exactly. No. They mm, don't only check like. check the hands. Check the hand the hands. Check the hands. Exactly. Okay, exactly. it's different to hear. Yeah. Now, where is the first experience in the video for in the video form? Here the question. Where is the first experience in the video from where? Where is the first experience in the video from? Rio de Janeiro. Rio Janeiro. Rio yes. Janeiro, okay. Rio Janeiro. Now, can you tell me how was how was the experience in Rio de Janeiro? How was the experience in Rio de Janeiro? How was the experience? Can you tell me? Camila. Yes. ¿Qué dijo Camila? Más grande la ley. The people is writing to you. The people is friendly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This, how was the experience in Rio de Janeiro? Okay. If you do you do you consider that it was nice or it was different to hear? Different. It's different. 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 It was different. different. Now and then. Uh -huh. It was different. Now. Let me see. It was different. Now. Another question. Sorry for the interruption. Another question. What did Camila say about that place? ¿Quién es el caballero que me estaba participando? ¿Qué me mencionó a Camila? Eh, Camila. Bueno, Camila. Eh, about. She say the people friend, very friendly. Yeah, she said that the people it was very very friendly. And what else? Friendly. What else? What Camila saw very strange. She told the people to shake the hands yeah. and it's strange when the kiss on the cheek yeah. on the cheek mm -hmm. yes. what else a different the gradient the grades are different each other right and what else more more participations what else yes She got Sweden. How people greet each to other. Kid. Each okay. other, right? She said that it was it was what? Completely different. Why? Because because what? Humor. 
humor is your week and kissing chick and kissing chick and they shake hands is that Elizabeth told us, right? Yeah, it was completely different because humor is weak, kissing cheek, and they shake hands. Yes, Camila greets each other with cheek and cheek, and they only shake hands. Yes? What else? What else she said? What else? She went. I, I listened that she went to kiss like and they said, oh, my goodness. What going on? She said. <laughs> Not like kills. Not like kiss and the Rio Janeiro. Yes. What going on? And then, and they felt like, and you see, and they felt like you are inviting my space, she said, or something like that what is strange yes this is she said this information and she has surprise about the the great other other people right now question number uh, six what in in, in in capital letter. What is the name of the reporter in Rio de Janeiro? Fatima. Fatima? Okay, Fatima what? What is her, uh, her last name? name? I don't remember. Fatima Noland. Noland. Yes, Nolan. Fatima Noland. Now, next question. What? What is the name of the newscaster? Oh, uh, Camila. No. Camila. No, newscaster no. is the, is is an, uh, another one. Newscaster is the. Es el presentador general de noticias, right? Newscaster. Chris, el primer señor que presentó. Chris. El que está en el estudio. Yes. Brock. Brooks. Yes. Chris Brooks. Chris Brooks. Yes. Number eight. What is the second, the second country? Perú. Lima, Perú. Lima, Lima Peru. Peru. Lima Peru. Yes, it was Lima Peru. Now, can you tell me what is the name of the reporter? Uh, Denise. 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 Yes, Denise. Denise. Yes, Denise. Next question. What is the favorite place? For tourists. Plaza de Armas. Plaza, Plaza de Armas. For tourists. Plaza de Armas. Plaza de Armas. Here in Lima, it was Plaza de Armas. Now, another question. Let me see. What?
What is the name? What is the name of the person interviewed? Interviewed? Andrew. And Andrew. And where is he from? USA. Andrew is from United USA. States. Andrew, excellent. He's from United States. Yes. Another question. What is different from his country? Public transportation. transportation the public the system, the transportation. Public. Yes, the public transportation. Oh, the system, yeah. Public transportation system. Why? Why is different? Because the page in the hands. In Lima, the bus. What happened with the bus? The bus system is private. 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 It's private. And the way they make money in the house is yeah it's by getting by getting as getting. many getting. people as possible to get on their bus is the same to here or no is the same to this country, the last part, or no? Here, yeah. they make money. Yes. They make yes. money, and then it happened that the bus are very crowded, and they push to people, yeah? Push the people. <laughs> Similar yeah. to him at Sa uh, Salvador. Yes, yes, because... They need to earn more money. There is the problem, right? It's like the same to here in El Salvador. Okay. Now, what about another experience? How was the next country that they visited? Mexico. 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 What is the name of the reporter? Hillary Garcia. Oh, Hillary, Hillary Garcia. Garcia. Excellent. Hillary Garcia. Now, what is the, the place that they visited in Mexico? What is the name of the place? Ostland. I saw, uh, I like Young Mexico. Yeah, Young Mexico. I saw. What is Ion? It's a town. They said that it's a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Yeah? Ion, you have the information. Ion, Mexico is a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Yeah? Now, what, what's the name of the person interviewed and where is he from? Delfino. Delfino Valdez de Reynosa. Yes, Reynosa, Mexico. Nice. What is his experience? The full. The full. Yes. What he said. What he said about the, the about the country. The full, but what? 
Tell me more information. She waited that the uh, woman made the lunch. Repeat, please. Uh, first of all, he he's, he told that he told that he's married. He's married with an American woman, and she was making him lunch like a sandwich, right? Then what else? In the Mexico is some um, beans, rice, tacos, meat, etc. Yes. Yes, the culture there is of the middle of the day, of the middle of the day. They eat with beans and rice meat. Yes. But it's very strange because in the middle of the day they meet. Only beans and right. Yes. And he considered that it was needless, unnecessary, right? Yeah. Now, have you had a similar, any similar experience in other country? Oh, yes. You, Elizabeth? Okay. Can you tell us? Yes, it's very similar our country. Ah, in the, the food. In the, yes, the food is the daily. Ah, and for example, how much is the the main the main dishes there? La comida principal, los platos principales. How much is it? Eh, tortilla, cheese. Yeah, yeah. And how much is the it? ¿Cuánto es el costo de un plato principal? Um, two or three dollars. Ah, the same to here. On the lunch. Ah, yes. okay. Me, teacher. Yeah, tell me. I travel to Argentina. Yeah. And they eat in the breakfast, uh, just bread and tea. Ah, is it sweet bread or, or what kind of bread? Uh, they, they drink a tea, uh, he call it mate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, no sé cómo se dice, se dice amargo. Ah, hi. Oh, is is the, uh, the 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 flavor is different to here? Yes, it's uh, it's a, a a a little different in the in a lunch. Mm, they eat um pizza, uh, hamburgers, and they no not eat uh, tortilla. <laughs> ah, never eat tortillas. Never. No. Only, only mm. Uy. Okay. Amargo, it means bitter. And then the tea, the tea is bitter. It's bitter, yes. Ah, okay. It's, it's the traditional tea. Okay. I imagine that they, they never use sugar. Or sometimes. No. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, Sometimes uh, the, shield, the child use sugar. Ah, okay. Thanks a lot for your participation. Who else travel in another country? Have you had any similar experience? Yes or no? Or did you remember? Did you not remember? <laughs> Okay. Teacher, in all uh, third America, they eat. Uh, they don't eat tortilla. They don't know it. Okay. Mm, it's a uh, it's different to here. Okay. Now we continue with another topic. 
And this is a, a introduction for this important topic. And tomorrow we will continue with this topic. But for the moment, I need to share any some information about this con this this topic. Its name, noun phrases containing relative clauses. Yeah, as a subject and as an object. This is an important topic, but it's very crucial to send this information and to, to know this information. What are the components of a noun phrase? First, what is the meaning of a noun phrase? What is a noun phrase? Is a noun phrase must have a noun on which other modifiers are connected. A noun refers to the name of a person, thing, or place. In other words, in Spanish, a noun is a, a sustantivo, right? ¿Y qué es un sustantivo? Can you tell me what is the meaning of sustantivo in Spanish? Un sustantivo es el que describe, ¿verdad? Puede describir eh, animales, personas o cosas y lugares. En este caso se refiere a personas, cosas o lugares. ¿Ya? A noun phrase must have a noun on which other modifiers are connected. Eso están conectados con otros modificadores. ¿Ya? Here we have a, the first example is the nurse took the medicine to the hospital. The nurse took, took the medicine to the hospital. The nurse. Now, this is our first example. Okay. Tell me nouns, hospital. Now, number two. What is the meaning of uh, an article? What is an article? Must be part, uh, an article must be part of a noun phrase. Since it is usually connected to a noun. In modern English, articles include a, n, and the. Now, can, do you remember when I use a and n? When? In which occasions? When I use a? A use when the next word uh, begin or start with consonant, the sound consonant. With a sound consonant. And N and N, 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 N is U. when you use a vocal. When the next word is a vocal or the sound is yes. a vocal. Yes. Yes. A and N. Now, thanks, Elizabeth and Byron and the rest of the class. And now, the, the example is, the house is always clean. The is the article in this case. Is the article, the house is always clean because be part of a noun phrase, yeah? Now, an adjective, an adjective, refers to a word that describes a noun or pronoun. Refers to a word that describes a noun or pronoun. Example, the beautiful woman married today. The beautiful woman married today. Okay, did describe, describe the name, a noun. Now, prepositional phrase is another component. Here, it refers to words that begin with a preposition but has an object at the end. 
It refers to words that begin with a preposition but has an object at the end. Example, the clothes in the dressing room are gorgeous. The clothes in the dressing room are gorgeous. This is the example because it's the word that begin with a preposition but has an object at the end. What is the object here in this, in this sentence? Yeah, the object at the end. The object is maybe gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Now, another component is determiner. Determiner clarifies, describes a noun. Clarifies or describes a noun. Examples include those, the, that, this. Examples. These girls are smart. These girls are smart. Okay. In this, in this occasion, it's describing a noun. Yeah. What is the noun here? What is the noun? These girls in are this, smart. Girls. Girls. Yes, in this case are girls. Girls. Yes, girls. Yeah. This is the components of the noun phrase. The components. Because you can work with no, with nouns, with article, with adjectives, with prepositional phrase, and with determiner. Uh, we have different components. Now, his part is very important too. Now, here we have noun phrases and relative clauses. What is, what is the meaning of relative clauses? Relative clauses are those that give essential or additional information about a person or something that had already been mentioned before. Mentioned before. This is a relative closes. Now, son dice las palabras que dan eh, las palabras esenciales también que dan una información adicional acerca de qué o acerca de quién. Información esencial o adicional sobre una persona dice o algo que ya se había mencionado antes. Esas son las relative clauses, que son las que dan información esencial o adicional sobre una persona o algo que ya se había mencionado antes. We have two types of relative clauses. The first one is defining relative clauses. It gives us necessary information so that we understand what they are talking about. In this case, aquí dice que nos da información esencial o necesaria para que entendamos de qué nos están hablando o de qué estamos hablando. ¿Ya? Para eso sirve igual la relative clauses. Like. This, let me put the example, okay, example. Um, she's, okay, she's, she's the woman who helped me yesterday. She's the woman or the woman who helped me yesterday. Dice, ella es la mujer quien me ayudó ayer, ¿verdad? She's the woman who helped me yesterday. And then, here, what is the relative clauses? Si decimos aquí, 
que la relative clauses es la que nos da información esencial o adicional sobre una persona que antes habíamos mencionado, ¿cuál podría ser aquí la relative clauses? Who helped me yesterday? Only who helped me yesterday? Who helped me yesterday? Who helped me yesterday? Why? Why? These clauses is that that giving the information essential. Essential information. Give us an essential information. Yeah. Porque si solo decimos aquí, she's the woman. El qué, nos quedamos cortos. El qué, ella es la mujer qué. Solo alguien viene y le dice, she's the woman. En qué, ella es la mujer qué. What is the the the, the the continuation. What is the, inf the next information? Se queda corto porque no sabe de qué le está hablando, right? And then, if I say, who helped me yesterday, the essential information is this, who helped me yesterday. Yes? More specific. Yes. It's more specific and essential information. This is the, 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 the most important. Now, the last one, ah, but it's the time, the time is over. Okay, here we have, nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí porque ya es hora. Okay, and tomorrow we will continue okay. with this topic and with some exercises because I need to explain more about this topic, right? And put some exercises to, it's, it's very important, right? And then tomorrow we will continue with this with this important topic. Okay? okay, okay. Thanks okay, for coming and for your responsibility. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 See you Good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.